Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be setting up my catch-all happy planner for the year of 2024. So if you want to see how we're putting together this planner, stick around because that's coming up right now. All right y'all, so as you can see here in front of me, I have a few different things going on. This, sorry I'm out of breath, I was like going through discs and covers all morning. I also have a bit of a dull headache, but I need to get this video done because it's going to be all about Vlogmas and just getting situated for Christmas after today. So I need to get this done, y'all. Okay. I have a lot of stuff here in front of me and I'm going to explain exactly what I'm going to be doing. If you guys did not see my planner lineup video, that in that video, I talk about these these planners that you see here in front of me and what they're going to be used for. So if you haven't seen that yet, I would suggest going and checking that video out first and then that'll kind of get you up to speed to what we're doing here in this one. I'll link that video down below for y'all. But I have two planners here and then I have a block pad and another planner to my right. And then I also have some discs and a couple of dividers here to my left. And what I'm going to be doing is setting up my classic catch-all happy planner. So this happy planner is basically my budgeting and appointments book. This is the home, like the home center planner. This either stays on my desk in my room or on my desk in the living room. And that way everyone can kind of stay up to speed on what's going on and who has to be where on certain days. Um, this is not like a planner I'm going to be going into to do like daily tasks or managing my time at home or any work related things. This is strictly just appointments and bill tracking. So I had purchased both of these planners for 2024 and my ultimate goal was to combine the two. This is a classic dashboard planner and this is a vertical just like a regular classic vertical planner that you guys have seen me using. I am over the classic vertical, so we are trying something new for 2024. And I also feel like this is going to delegate my space better with the dashboard. Um, however, I wasn't a huge fan of the gold foiling in this. I'm also not like a super big fan of the hot pink discs. I do like the interior of this, but it's it's not going to match um, the planner that I'm frank and planning it with, which is this one. So I hate the gold discs. Uh, you guys know, like, I'm not a huge fan of gold foiling on my covers, unless it's really subtle. Um, I feel like this is a very in-your-face, and this is a lot more subtle, but the gold discs just make the gold stand out, and I can't stand it. So this is what I am going to be doing. I am going to be combining the cover and the dashboards like the innards of this planner to the guts so the dashboard this part of this planner and because i cannot stand the gold discs in this i am actually going to be using these very pretty light pink discs they're plastic and these are also from the happy planner i got them off of one of my old planners um but it really does match. Like I think it matches the light pink in this really well. And it's going to bring some subtlety and and like just subdue it down. And it won't make the gold stand out so much. And this light pink is throughout the whole planner. So like the in the birds and the flowers. And on most of the dashboards too. There is quite a bit of that pink color. So I think it's going to really... It's going gonna, it's gonna to make me excited to go into it. I'm going to keep wanting to go into it. I was struggling all morning trying to figure out what discs I want to use, what cover do I want to use. I went through a bunch of old planners of mine and old covers I've saved. And ultimately, I decided on just sticking with what I purchased, just changing out the discs. So I am going to do all that with you now and then we'll come back and talk about the rest of the planner and what the, all this is going to be used for in setting it up.
Okay, she is put together and I'm happy with that. I like it. Um, I feel like it's a good combination of me who likes color. This brightens up the planner a little bit. I originally had either thought about doing white discs with the other bright planner or doing black discs with this one. And I felt like both options were too extreme. And the reason why I really liked this planner and why I had decided on buying both is because this one actually gave me frozen vibes, a little bit of Norway, Norwegian type feeling. It really made me think of Anna from Frozen. And I just really love it. I think it's really pretty. I like that the light pink discs brought in that subtlety to it and a little bit more femininity, brightens it up a little bit. And I do think it goes really well with these dashboards and I'm a lot more happier with it. It's amazing what just a small change can do y'all. Look, look how cute. Super, super cute. So I'm really happy I decided to go that route. Okay, now we are going to flip to the back here. And I'm hoping, I don't, I don't think I'm going to need to put expander discs on this. I'm going to keep this pretty simple. Um, I have two different dividers here. Um, I think I'm probably going to go with this one. It just, it, it goes a little bit better. Um, I thought this one, I mean, this one goes too, because it's got some blue in it. It's not dark. It's not like this light blue. Um, I think it's just a matter of what looks better against this page. Like this one, I was thinking this one has greens in it and that like goldy color. Um, this one doesn't have the green, but it does still have that golden color to it. I feel like, I mean, they both have the teal, so it really doesn't matter. I just have to make a conscious decision. I think this one just goes a little bit better. So I'm going to go with this one. Um, I just like it a little bit more. And we're going to get a black sticker box because we're going to tie in that black. And we're just going to use a little one like this. And I am going to label this dashboard budget. Um, I hope this fits because this is a Mojo Jojo sticker. Okay, perfect. And we are just going to label this budget because what I am, what I'm thinking, y'all, is instead of using a whole separate budget book even though ideally that's i wanted to keep it separate um it just didn't work out we haven't even touched this which i'm kind of bummed about because i do love the cover um this is actually a separate cover so i combined two different covers this one it said like savvy saver on the front of it um but I really liked having a separate one because ultimately we do want to like, we want to start cash enveloping. Um, I probably won't use these though. It's like a different system and like, but I liked having the folder and just a whole separate thing, but it didn't work for us. So I have to adjust to what works and I feel like doing it this way will simplify it, but also encourage us and motivate us, motivate us to do it more. So I'm just going to write budget. Right now I'm using my Microperm 5 and I bought this at Michael's a long time ago. I think you can still get them there though. Um, yeah, so we're just going to pop this in to the back. I'm not going to do the folder or anything like that. So right now it looks, hopefully you guys can see that, like that says budget. And this is what I want to do. So last year I had, um, like I have this cover page, which is just like decorations and stuff. I might still put that in. We'll see. It doesn't really match, but, but then we had a goals page. You can see we didn't even finish filling it out. I had some sections filled out. Um, I am going to actually remove this and build myself a new one for this year. Uh, that's something I want to work on with Dan. This is the build breakdown. This was written up in 2022. So I really do want to readjust this. Um, I thought about 
using this. It came with the budget book that I purchased last year or for the beginning of this year. And I was like, ooh, I probably should just move everything to this. My only, my only qualm with this is, is this all it does is break down your regular monthly bills. So like your mortgage bill, your phone bill, your internet bill, any like Netflix, Hulu, those types of accounts, um, utilities. What it doesn't do is it doesn't break down weekly, like weekly rotating expenses. So gas, food, self-care, toiletries, things like that. Um, so I don't know if I want to just do another plain notes page like I did here or if I want to transfer them to this and then just at the bottom I can put weekly expenses and just fill those out there. The thing I don't like about this bill schedule is you literally have to like you would write down what's due every month. The, I could change it and just put like, okay, mortgage, it's it's gone up since then. So mortgage 1467, and then just check it off for every month that's gotten paid. So I could use it as like a, checks, a checklist system, which I kind of like that idea. It forces me to go back and look and things like that. You can see like I actually have the dates written down for certain bills so like the mortgage we have a grace period as long as it's paid by the 15th we won't get hit with a late fee or any like extra interest so even though it's technically due on the first i usually put the 15th just because we have until then to pay it um but then i have like the phone bill date the cox internet date and you literally just put in like i did here so like phone slash 29 and then check off as you go um, and then there is a blank spot on the back so I could put our credit cards and I could put the taxes for the year um, if I wanted to do that as as well I'm not sure what I want to do okay I think I am going to use this I like the idea of being able to put a check mark whenever a month gets paid because um, I do I do juggle so a lot of times we'll be a little bit behind and this could be my reference point for that. Um, I do highlight like each category. I might, I don't know if I should do that here. Um, I wanna do a color that's obviously going to match this. Maybe we can stick to that creamy color. I do have this. It's a Tombow, it matches, it's really light. So I could go, let's see, mortgage will be the first one. So I could just, and it's pretty identical. And then what I think I wanna use, actually, do I wanna use my Sharpie pen or do I wanna use my Rytec? I think I might wanna use this one. And I'm literally just gonna write mortgage. And I forget the A. And then we're gonna do like a little slash here. And I'm just gonna write the 15th. Okay, well even though we messed up a little bit, it's all good. I think I like that. Cause I thought about doing like every other, like it is here, but then it might confuse me. Like thinking I made like, okay, why did I highlight that one and not that one? So we're gonna go in, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Um, this is a quarter, but I guess we can put it there. 13, 14, cause the cooking gas is yearly. So I feel like that should go into like the back section. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we have, we actually have 15 because there's a new monthly bill that was added um, after this was written. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm probably gonna do like 2022, like I did up here, uh, or actually it's 2024. So maybe we'll just do and I can outline it after. All right, I'm gonna speed you guys up while I do this. You know what I just
just realize the amounts aren't there. There's not enough room. Okay, I don't know if I like that now. Because I don't want to put the amounts in here. Because it's the same amount every month. <laughs> Looks like we're just going to need to use a regular piece of note paper, y'all. It's okay. We're going with it. We are just going to go with it. All right, we are just going to go with this. I am going to change the color. I'm going to do like that pinky color instead, I think. Um, let's write. First, let's do. No. good on that for now um I kind of wish I'd use my sharpie pen now because the Tombow not the mild liner but the Tombow smudged a little bit but it's all good um I do love the color combo so that was a good choice um the only things I didn't put into this were like um if we start up credit card payments or if we do like after pays and things like that those are expenses that would come up in the future. Um, the other thing I didn't include in this is savings. So I might add a savings section behind it and do 
like emergency fund, general savings, and then Disney slash travel savings. So that might be something, I don't know, I probably could even put that into the weekly expenses. You know what? Let's, let's do it. Let's starting a new goal right now. We're going to implement one more. Um, and I'm going to write in Disney slash emergency save. And per week, I think we're just going to, I'm going to keep it small and just do $10. I know that's not a lot, but it's something. So let's stick with that goal for now. I'm adding that in. All right. I'm happy with that. Looking good. Again, I don't know if I'm going to, I can throw these out now. I don't know if I'm going to add in that cover page or not. I feel like maybe I should. All it is is just this like Hello Savvy Saver, this Happy Planner belongs to, and then I just covered up the year and put my husband and mine's name in. And it's just got some like goal saving quotes, nothing crazy, and then the breakdown. I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and add this in. Cause it kind of like segregates it a little bit. I kind of like that. And then after that would be our monthly. So in this one, this was January from 23. This was the beginning of this year. Um, so you have this little cover page. It says, what event or circumstances coming up this month that you know you will need to spend money on, things you want, things you need. Um, what can you do to adjust and save? And then what can you give up or say no to or let go of this month? So, um, and then on the back, it's literally the monthly breakdown broken up into sections, things that we have to do. Like this specific one, we were going to get Cali groomed. Um, people needed haircuts. So those are not things that are normally in there. Yeah. That are normally in there every month and then the rest was just these like gratitudes which i'm not doing and then we have this weekly expenses sheet and that is where this block pad will come in so what i want to do since this one's already filled out we need to get a new one and i have a divider in here i'll show you guys so I have this divider that says this week. Um, I'm going to change this to say this month. Not exactly the divider I want to use, but it's in here. So we're just going to use it. I need to get some new, some new dividers. That might be something to invest in. Where? Hmm. Can't find the rest of those pages. Okay, I have to find the rest of these. I know there was more. <laughs> I gotta find where they went. Um, I think I'm gonna add this savings tracker in to the front as well. Let's let's change this out. And I think I'm just gonna use another black one. God, you can see how long this has been on here. Holy moly. Yeah, because the black will match the top of the other tab. And also there's a little bit of black in this dashboard. All right, now we have it that says this month. All right, and then now they kind of match, so get my drift. I need to find what happened to these pages. So I will be back in a minute, y'all. Okay. I found them. They were just hiding. I didn't, I didn't have like tabs for the next months. So this is what the sheet looks like empty and then the back. And we're just going to pop this in 
And this is going to be, I'm not going to use those. This is going to be like the main hub for every month. And then once this is filled out, right? Once we have that all taken care of, I don't need this one anymore. My husband and I will sit down every week and use this block pad. So this is a pad that I bought from the most recent um, planner release from the Happy Planner. And all of their block pads uh, come pre-punched so they can fit into whatever size planner you're using. Um, this is the classic. And you have an important section, a get it done section, and then this blank area. And what we like to do is we like to go in I don't know if maybe I have, do I have like a template? Okay, this, is, this isn't this is the whole thing, but what I like to do is go in and write the date for the week, so that can go in the top somewhere, and then write in how much his income was for the week and how much I brought in for the week, and then total it. And then after we have that, go in and write down literally step by step every little thing we have to pay for that's extra and I try to budget out exactly what we're spending for that week so like for example say it's a birthday weekend and we're going out to celebrate uh, my mom's birthday and we're going to treat her to dinner that's an extra expense so that will all go in here and then obviously the most important things will go on this side. And then at the end, we'll be left with, you know, if there's anything remaining, so on and so forth. And then there is, there is a plain backside to these. So if we wanted to write down like our weekly expenses, like did we go to Dunkin' Donuts this morning? Okay, that's an extra $3 for a coffee, so on and so forth if I really want to track that. Um, I do have a mini planner that sits in my car that I'm supposed to be tracking those minuscule expenses like that, but I'm not that great at it. If I can at least do this part though every week with my husband, then that's better than what we've been doing before. So I'm not putting these in now. I'm literally keeping this pad separate and then every week we'll go in and add it in. And then at the end of the month, before the new month comes, that's where the sheet will come in. And I'm just going to add those in. I think, I don't think I have, I don't think I have a full one of those. I think I only have a few. But I'm going to speed you guys up while I add what I have in and then come back. So unfortunately, it looks like that budget planner was only four months worth and I've already used one sheet. So that's only three. What I might do is I actually might scan this into my computer and make copies. So that way we have, I can make more, like I have more. Um, I Probably three months in here at a time is pretty good. Because I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Like once it starts filling up, we'll keep like three months at a time. I am going to keep this budget planner like separate. So I can put extra sheets and notes pages and things like that in there if I need to. Um, in the back here, there is a debt tracker. But I'm not really worried about that at the moment. Um, and then there's just a bunch of blank pages. And then the back is just those saving tracker sheets and the envelopes and the folder, which I'm not going to be using any of that um, right now. So that is it. So as I said, we do have this little goals page that I think I want to redo. It would go like in this section right here. I'm just going to pop it in here for now. And then that's probably something I'm going to sit down. I might, I don't know if I'm going to record it with you guys or not. Um, because I really want to try and start doing this stuff with my husband. However, I probably could just decorate it with you guys. Um, I've been using a Disney, like a specific Disney sheet for, for this goal sheet the last couple of years now. 
I just happen to really like it. Um, I did have a vision board from a couple of years ago where I used like an actual dashboard, which I loved that too. And I think I might have a few more of these lying around. So I don't know if I'm going to do this or if I'm going to do a dashboard like this next. Um, I might. I kind of like the dashboards a little bit more durable. But either way, I like to hold on to these so I can see how I set it up and what, like how I want to go about doing that. So I'm just going to leave it in here until we get that done. But let's close this up and look at her for a minute. She is looking so cute. I really love the light pink discs. I'm glad that I decided to do that. And then we just open her up. I'm really happy with this now. I'm super satisfied. And we can see what they look like with the light pink discs. And then up at the top, you can see budget and this month. Um, I If I had had a dashboard that had a side tab that said budget, I might have done that instead. But this actually makes it easier because I literally can just take my finger, go to that tab, flip over. And now we have our little budget section. It says, hello, savvy saver. So I'm glad I put that in there. It helps separate it a little bit more. And then we'll have a goals page in there. We will have our bill breakdown, possibly the savings tracker. And then we go right into our this month. And this is where we'll set our monthly goals. And every week, here, I'll give you guys an example. We'll write this out and then we'll rip it, set the pad to the side for the following week and pop it in like so. And these will get inserted every week until the next month. And then once we get into the new month, I will just move this this month tab to the current to the current month. So I love it. I think it came out really, really good, really, really good. I'm super happy with it. I do track the bills in here now. And then also we're going to be tracking them in the weekly section. So I'm really excited to start using this. I think it's going to work out really well. I'm really excited about this. I think I'm finally getting a handle on how my brain is starting to navigate itself as I get a little bit older. So it's all about just figuring it out and changing and growing and learning from your past self and your current self and also how it's going to provide just bring more simplicity to your life in the future so yeah i hope you guys liked this setup oh and just in case in that planner lineup video that i link that i linked below um i talked about making my new weekly kind of like treating it like a daily somehow and i just wanted to show you guys i did set this one up in that video so if you want to see how i added the tabs and everything you can go and check it out in that video and um that's really it i last year i did set up my goals with you guys in my passion planner but i'm gonna do that alone or with my husband this year um and keep that i'm gonna do that without recording i just want to have a little bit more to myself keep things a little bit more personal when it comes to stuff like that um it's it's tough when you share your whole life with the world so <laughs> so yeah anyway i hope you guys liked this setup video of my classic happy planner catch all slash build tracking and if you're new here thank you so much for checking out the video i would love it if you subscribed by hitting that subscribe button down below don't forget that bell notification too and the thumbs up button give it a like it really does help out me and the channel immensely. So I thank you guys so much for being here and being a part of my planning fam. And until the next video, happy planning and stay magical.